Alright, welcome to my second week for the Open World uh, Advanced Tech. Uh, today I, well, I've, I've managed to get a basic form of trunk loading work in, where I have these four scenes here that all include a chunk of the level, and as you can see when it's all loaded up, it builds the world. Um, I use something called additive loading, which means that I can load a scene into a current scene, and then I can also uh, use uh, async unloading to get rid of the scene afterwards, so it's no longer in the memory. Um, so, just give you a quick watch. So as you can see at the moment, it's got the player scene, which just holds the actual player and the light in that, because if that scene gets deleted, then the player just goes. Uh, there's the scene zero, which is the original one, and scene one, which is the chunk in front here. And then, whoa. No idea what I've just done. <laughs> and as you see, which, as you walk through, you um, load a new chunk in. And then, yeah, yeah, and then it loads enough chunk in. And as you see here, all the scenes change. So as I go into the final one, it will delete the scene one and just have scene two and three. Um, what I need to do now is either build a level or have a file which. Um, the game reads and builds a level from. I'm planning on making chunk prefabs. Um, as at the moment, I only have one collision box. If I show you around here, which doesn't work, so it can't detect going back out. It can only detect going forward. So I need to have sort of four separate ones so that it can detect which way it's going, and load equal to that. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> 